Welcome to this video on managing notifications in individual posts in Microsoft Teams. So we all know we can go into settings and set our notifications to whatever preferences we have so that the those notifications don't distract us when we're trying to be super productive. But what you can do is you can go into the individual posts if you want to even if you don't want to see anything within that channel, but you actually want to see the replies for that post because it's really important to what you're doing, you can turn on notifications or turn them off if you don't want to see it for an individual post, which is really useful. And you can see I've got an example post right in front of me, just got a test meeting and it's created a post. So it just gives you the example of what we're looking for. Now, if I go into the top right hand corner of this and I click on the three dots, you'll see I've got the notification option. And this is referencing just this post. So if there was a conversation about something within your project or anything like that, you can turn on or turn off notifications as you see fit. So if I turn on these notifications, I'll get any notifications for that post when someone replies or anything else. So I'm not going to miss anything that's really, really important to me. If I want to turn it off because maybe there's a conversation going on in a channel that I'm interested in the overall channel and other posts, but that one's just distracting me and it's not relevant to what I'm doing, I would, on the opposite way, go into the three dots and turn off notifications. So you can do either or, which is really, really useful. And then it just stops any of those distractions, but it means you can see wider conversations or you can just focus down on the one post within the channel. Whatever works for you, it's just really great to see more flexibility being added to Microsoft Teams so you can set it up the way that works best for you. One to play around with then, have a go at. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.